Bonjour. Hi guys, my name's Amy and I'm a scuba diving instructor I'm here to teach you some scuba concepts. Today we're going to be discussing enriched air nitrox. Let's gain some understanding around this beautiful term. So, what is enriched air nitrox? Basically, it's just air that's been enriched with oxygen. No, I'm joking, let's explain that a bit more. You might recall from your earlier scuba lessons or from school or in general that the air we're breathing is made up of 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. So when we talk about enriched air, it just means any oxygen, nitrogen, gas blend that's been enriched with oxygen. So anything with a higher blend than 21% oxygen. Comprende? Why do we want to do this? Why? Why, Amy? You might recall also from your earlier scuba lessons that we are dictated by a time limit under the water. This is due to the fact that our bodies absorb nitrogen. The deeper we go, the more nitrogen is stored in our bodies. Our bodies can only store so much nitrogen before, as recreational divers, we can no longer just ascend to the surface. This is what dictates our time underwater. So how do we remove this obstacle? Well, we just reduce the nitrogen load, surely. But if we reduce something, we have to replace it with something else. And the easiest way to do this is by increasing the oxygen in the gas we breathe. So the primary benefit of using enriched air is to reduce the nitrogen that you're exposed to. As a byproduct of this, we get three main advantages. So first, it extends your bottom time. We can spend a little bit longer at depth, which who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? So we can extend that time because it takes a lot longer for our bodies to reach the no deco limit which is dictated by the amount of nitrogen our bodies absorb at depth. And that brings me on to the second advantage. The second advantage, following on for the first, is because you do have more time at depth, this reduces any need to push the air no decompression limit. When diving with enriched air, you're given ample amount of time to spend at depth, which reduces that need to stay right at the last minute because you've had plenty of time. And last but not least, number three. The third benefit of using enriched air is that it, it reduces the buildup of residual nitrogen that you gain after making several dives during the day. Each time you dive, you would have absorbed nitrogen. It takes a while for, it, for you to off gas on the surface. So when you, by the time you go onto your next dive, even if you've had an hour break, you will still have some nitrogen stored in your body. So that's going to then reduce your time limit on the second dive and then so on. When you go to your third dive, you'll have a build up from the first two dives. So if you reduce the nitrogen during the day in your tanks, you're going to be able to extend your dive time throughout. So you'll be able to extend your dive time on each dive. So there are a range of benefits that comes with using enriched air under the water. However, like everything that's good, there is a bad side. We need to keep in mind that although we've reduced the nitrogen content in the air we're breathing, we're now increasing the oxygen content in the air we're breathing. And that comes with its own hazard. That's what I'm gonna be discussing in the next video. So make sure you look out for part two. You'll find that linked in the description below. In the next video, I'm gonna be discussing the hazards of using enriched air under the water and included in this is going to be the explanation of partial pressure so you might have come across that term before so we're going to discuss that and we're also going to be discussing gases and how they interact with our body when we start to descend deeper so we start to understand a bit more about why our bodies absorb more nitrogen for example the deeper we go and why oxygen becomes toxic at certain depths. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot. If you did, please give it a nice little cheeky like and if you have any questions at all, just place them in the comments and I will get back to you. Yeah, so we can keep on learning about those scuba concepts. See you next time, buddies.